Hello and welcome to Modeling Miss Adventures. And um, got a Christmas present here. Never made one of these before. It is a book nook. Uh, these are pretty popular these days. Little uh, scenes that you put on a bookshelf. Use them lots of detail in. This one is a 1940s train cabin with a moving background. So this is a bit similar to the uh, Roka. Uh, solar system that I made in that it has a lot of wooden parts like this um, but like the little doll's house that I made recently there's some other materials uh, more wooden parts here and in this one we've actually got a little motor and some wiring and we've got a pretty good instruction booklet and you can see there's Lots of details here. And it starts off by making this uh, motorized thing at the back that actually has a moving background on it. So I'm gonna start with this. Now all these parts are numbered pretty well. You've just gotta find them. Well, the parts seem to come out really easy just by pressing. So the parts come off really well, but just doing a little bit of a clean up, if there's any bits hanging off. But very good so far. And you don't have to use glue when you're fastening these together. They're a pretty tight fit, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here um, just to make it more long lasting. Right, that's the first spindle done. And this is going to turn the backdrop. And now we've got to put a rubber band around here. Just to give it more grip. Just got to cut that now. Well, that's all the spindles made. Nice. This one's got rubber grips on. This one spins. Next. And actually start putting the motor in. So you get one of these in here. Very common type of motor you can get from any electronic shop. Um, tends to turn quite slowly because it's geared. So that's going to be put in a frame now. Quick motor check before we go too far. There we are. All good. Right, it's time for a bit of wooden engineering. And these spindles are going to go in there and spin like that. And this is how they're fastened on. There we are. Look at this. Very nice. Okay, it's time to put the motor on. Now the last part to go on this structure is this uh, little spindle here. Goes in there and it's going to press up against those rubber bands. Like that. Now the next part of this model might be the trickiest, I'm not sure. Um, we're going to put a roll of paper around these spindles, which is going to form the moving backdrop. Now, they provide you with these backdrops in the model. Got a bit of a gripe about this because this sheet of paper was folded up and it had some creases in it. And I uh, had to get Mrs. Modeling Miss Adventures to try and iron those out, but they're still not perfect. Anyway, that's what they've given us. So I'm going to have a go at putting that on. All right, let's have a go. This just threads through these gaps. Now I'm just going to use some white glue on here. 
so that I've got a bit of time to adjust it. And I think the key here is all about getting the, the tension right. And now we've got to put a rubber band on here, which acts as a, a tensioner on that spindle. That's clever, isn't it? Right, that's the first phase of this completed. The question is, will it work? Here goes. <laughs> Look at that. So that's the mechanical part of this finished. It really is a model of two half this. You've got this bit with all the gears and motor. And next, it's onto the cabin itself. I'm going to start off with the uh, leather seats. Look what we've got here. Very nice. Now this metal foil is actually self-adhesive, but it does suggest you put glue on as well. So I've just put a little bit of white glue on the wood, just so that it sticks a little better. So these are the seat bases. Now, just gonna cover it with this rather nice looking leather. Now this is self-adhesive, but I think I'm gonna augment it with a bit of super glue. So these are the seat backs, and look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, it's time to put these seats together. Look at these. They're beautiful, these seats. I am very impressed so far with the quality of this model. Right, next up, two luggage racks. Now again, the parts for these are very nice. You got these wooden supports, the gold metal covering, and this very nice old looking lattice rack. Now it's a bit fiddly getting the backing off this stuff. I've been trying to do it using the edge of a knife, like that, and then peel it off. Well, the luggage rack looks very nice. Now, next up are some suitcases and a little pet cage. Looks like it'd have a cat in there. This is a suitcase, just a little wooden box. And then we're gonna start covering it in, again, leather. And that's what it looks like, covered in leather. Very nice. Meow. Well, these are the parts I've got made so far. And now it's time to start on the cabin walls. So these are the side walls of the cabin. They're symmetrical. And I'm gonna cover them with these lovely pieces of leather. Right, there's some pictures going up here. Just gonna use a glue stick. 
now a picture frame. Move it on there like that. Everything fits perfectly on here. And now a touch of gold. Now these things here are lampshades. You have to fold them up into this. And they're very, very fiddly. So I've got one done and they're gonna go on here. Like that. Look at that. And the last thing to go on here is this luggage rack that we made earlier, which goes on there. Well, I've got my two side panels done and they look brilliant. I love everything about those, the luggage racks, the light fittings, and uh, and the pictures. Uh, on this side, put a couple of my own pictures in. Uh, this is a 1940s train cabin, so the wall would have been on. So I put a picture of King George VI on there and uh, here's a Spitfire and a Hurricane. And the next thing to do is what's called the cabin curved wall, which I think is actually the the roof. Now this is the wooden piece and I've I've seen this technique before. It enables you to bend wood like that. Very clever. And there's some beautiful laser cutting on here. Look at those vents. It's fantastic. Beautiful leather pieces again. Gonna go on there like that. These are the lights in the ceiling, and this is the first time that we had to put any transparent plastic parts on. Okay, now I think I've come across a design flaw in these wall panels. I've just been looking ahead in the instructions, and this side wall is going to be attached to the rear wall like that. And I don't like the way that that gold rail is lower on the back wall than it is on the side. I don't actually think that's how it would have looked in the real train. I think it would have been all level. Now, just in case you're wondering whether I've made it wrong, this is the actual instructions and you can see it shows it like that anyway. And I don't really like it. I'm gonna come up with a fix to try and make that level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that strip off, cut a bit of the leather away here and raise that strip up and then put an off cut of brown leather at the bottom just to fill in the gap. So I'm just going to mark that top end with a pencil. That's my cut line. Now these should be level now when they join together, but I'm just gonna to have to trim the end of one of them off because now they're gonna jut up against each other. So now we're gonna glue that little strip on in its new position. Now I've got loads of little off cuts of this leather. So I'm gonna cut a piece of this and fill in the gap. I'll we'll just put that in there. Now that join there is just about visible, but this sticker has to go here and it's going to cover it up. Perfect. So that's the modification done. And now I'm going to put the side panels on. It's going to line up perfectly. Well, now we're on to a really important part of this model and that is the rear window because you're going to be able to see through this to that moving background that we made earlier. Let me start by gluing these wooden window frames on. And then the wood gets covered in this gold sheet again. Very nice. And now we can put the windows in. And these again package very nicely. Um, quite thick uh, plastic sheets. 
uh, covered with film on either side to stop them getting scratched. Now you don't want to get any glue on these windows. So I'm just going to use some white glue, which dries clear. I'm just going to put some small amounts on these little tabs and around the edge. And there's the windows in. Now the time has come to start joining all these together and we can put these side panels onto the back panel here. All right, we'll see if this fits on here. It looks like it's a push fit. That just slotted together perfectly. Now we've got to bend this roof over. Oh, hope it doesn't split and fix it to the top. Now that went together absolutely perfectly. Everything fitted just right. Very well engineered. No gaps. Looks fantastic. And next, uh, we're going to put the floor in. So this is the floor of the cabin and just made this grill, which goes at the back in there. It's going to look very nice. And now we've got to get this in here. Bit of a snug fit. Now this is a very tight fit and you've just got to go nice and slowly to get these tabs in. But be careful you don't break the wood here. It's on. You do have to be really careful with that. It's a very tight fit. So now we can glue the seats in. I'm going to go there. So next up, the table. First class train cabin's got to have a table, hasn't it? Nice. There we are. Right, next up is the lighting. And there's some little LED lights that go along the side and also along the top. Now this is a bit of a bird's nest here. You're gonna to have to be very careful untangling all this. And that actually unfolds into just one long string of wire and LEDs. Now this wiring setup was a little bit tricky and the wire that they provided really didn't look like the one in the instructions. But basically, I figured it out. You start with the terminal end here and you work your way around through the various lights on the left side, up over the roof, onto the top, down onto the right side, and then at the back, it's just wrapped around the window frame. And you may have fastened these wires on with these little wooden clips here, but these were very hard to get in and they didn't really hold the wires well. So I've gone with some electrical tape to hold everything in place. So hopefully that will work all right. And you won't see any of this because it's going to get covered up. Now it's time to attach the cabin to this base and you have to be a little bit careful because it's not very clear in the instructions, but you have to put these little wooden strips on first. You can't see them on the instructions because it shows it from underneath, but that's where they have to go and the cabin is going to sit on top of them. Just like that. And then we're going to glue these little supports in here. And that's to support the moving background and then in goes the paper roller that we made earlier that just slots in well this stage is finished and got the interior of the cabin done and the wiring and the paper roller on now i've just realized looking ahead in the instructions that you're going to be able to see this messy tape when you lift the lid off so i'm going to get rid of this now it's hold everything in place and I'm going to glue these wires down. Right. It's still a bit messy, but looks better than having all that tape on it. Okay, let's start with the door. Now I'm meant to be putting the window glass into the door here. And my piece of plastic has got a fault in it. 
And if you can see that that line is lower than that line, you can see where it, it came away from its sprue. So it, that's how it was cut. When I put that in there, there's going to be a slight gap at that top corner. I don't think there's much I can do about that. I'm going to have to put it in and see what I can do. Well, it's gone in, but I do not like that gap at the top. Something's gone wrong there in the manufacturing process. But this bit looks good. Right, the door's done, and this is going to be the entrance to the cabin. Lovely jubbly. Now we've got to put this sliding door on and it just fits in those grooves like that. It's going to be held on with these upper and lower brackets. Just go in these slots. There we go. Now it's time to put this front panel on here and it is a very tight fit and you've got to use a bit of brute force. There we are. Now it's time to put the side and back panels on. Got some nice little engravings on them. I'm going to glue these on to start with in case I have to get at it later. I think they should just uh, fit on and stay put. Well, once again, this was engineered really well and all those tabs and all those connections all fitted perfectly. It's come together and made a nice little box. OK, time to make this wooden box look nice with a bit of leather. OK, only one bit left and that is the roof. So here we just made a battery box and that's going to just go on to the roof like that now this roof is attached to the cabin with four magnets and they go in there as well here they are they're pretty strong. Well, that's all the magnets in. I just hope I've gotten the right way round. And now it's time to connect all the wires together with this little switch box. So I'm just going to splice the red wires together from the motor and the lights. Do the same for the black. And then stick them in the switch box. And then the same for the battery box. Red, black. Now there's one thing left to finish off this model and it is a logo that goes on here. This is the one that comes with it. It's actually an Avrin, the company that makes the model. But I don't want that logo on there um don't think it's very realistic i have printed off a pullman sign which is the name of a company that makes train carriages and i'm going to put that one on instead and on it goes just like that well there it is the anavrin train cabin booknook and this is a beautiful model. The parts were beautifully made. Um, it's come out really well. Really enjoyed that model. So I hope you enjoyed the video showing that being made. I'll finish off by showing it actually working. But for now, that's it for me. And I'll see you next time on Modeling Misadventures. Adventures.